Hey guys, welcome back to another weekly vlog. So today is actually like such a jam-packed busy day and I have so much things to do in such a little amount of time because basically I literally just got back from Egypt, my holiday with my mum that I went to and we got back like literally two days ago so I need to go back to Birmingham and my train is at like four something so I basically have to leave this house at like 3 45. I need to go and do some returns because like before I went on the holiday I was like buying things for the holiday but some things obviously didn't fit and I didn't have time to return it before I went so now I need to return everything I need to return before I go back to Birmingham so I've got some stuff from like Pull and Bear things like a skirt and a top that I need to return I also have pretty lot of thing returns to do but mum's gonna help me to do that so I had to so I have less things to do I've already packed my oh yeah that's nothing I was supposed to pack my suitcase to go back to Birmingham, but I basically like already packed everything. Like most things are in here. I don't think there's much else left to go in there. Right, I've decided that I'm gonna take a quick picture. I'm gonna take some cute Instagram pictures. She knows guys i'm currently in westfield and i hate this place because it's so packed and it's literally a weekday so i'm pretty sure everyone should be at work or at school i don't know why these are here right now like the heck done yeah i'm about to return my pull and bear stuff i'm trying to be quick as possible because i think it's like 1 30 right now and like i said i need to catch my train so Hi. can i make a return there's two items right yeah you have the same card with you please um, yeah, I think I paid with Apple Pay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Thank Have a you. good day. You too. So guys, back on my favourite train. Clearly, on the train going back to Birmingham. I'm just going to do some editing real quick on the train. But yeah, I'll catch you sort of when I'm back in Birmingham because I actually have a motive to go to when I get back. No, guys, I'm actually an idiot. Two things. First of all, how can I come to my com and I literally, in the lift, I selected the wrong floor, came out of that floor and tried to use my key to open the door to someone else's flat? Like, it's actually been that long that I literally forgot what my floor was and what door number I am. Like, what the heck? Second of all, just come in my room and it's boiling hot in here. And I'm thinking, why is it so hot? Turns out I left my um, plug-in heater on that whole time. Guys, I've been gone for like two weeks. No. I've been gone for like 10 days. This heat has been on for 10 days. <sighs> Jesus. I literally have so much to do. First of all, I need to pee because I'm gonna wet myself. Second of all, I need to order some Nando's because obviously there's no food here. But after I order that, I need to go and check on my car, guys, because I left my car here in Birmingham for 10 days and I'm scared that it won't start and like the battery's died and anything, God forbid, because it hasn't been started in 10 days and it's freezing cold outside. And that happened to my mum last time when it snowed and she didn't go in her car for like a couple of days, her car wouldn't start. Then I need to unpack my suitcase. I was gonna take a nap, but I slept in the train, so I'm not really that tired. And then I need to get changed get ready to go and party I need to do, find out where pre-drinks are waiting for jess jess is also coming home today but she's coming home later at like 10 p.m oh i have a parcel downstairs i'm hoping it's my flipping car sicko hat because guys i ordered this hat let me even start i ordered this hat ages ago and they told me that it finally delivered so i think it's downstairs waiting for me as always five chicken wings hot where's the spicy rice spicy rice and peri soy chips standard procedure at the basket oh shoot i don't even have any drinks here oh my gosh do i have water please tell me i have water please tell me i have water okay i have one bottle of water down there <laughs> oh yeah guys so slight problem um i don't actually remember where i parked my car yeah so um <laughs> pray for me please thanks no guys it's a serious thing yeah i'm walking down the road where i normally park my car and why am i not seeing it in the first five seconds like this looks like my car that's just not my car though Oh my god, I'm scared. Where the hell did I park this vehicle, bro? Oh my gosh, is that her? That has to be her. <laughs> that has to be her. That is her. Oh yeah, it is. Big purr. My baby. Oh, she's dirty, flipping hell, man. She is filthy. Look at them windows, bro. Damn. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to start getting car wash in Birmingham now because this car is disgusting. But it does smell nice. Okay, cool. I'm gonna test it. It better start. No, I actually miss my car. I'm not even capping. Oh, I haven't driven in so long. But I have nowhere to drive, otherwise I would actually go somewhere. Also, my Nando's is coming, so let me even 
I'm gonna stop praying about and get out of this car. <laughs> Can I pick up a parcel, please? Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Bro, this is why I don't like university. Like, how can I come back after 10 days and the bin situation is still like this? Like, what is like, what is this, bro? I don't know. Oh, nah. I'm actually starving. So this Nando needs to hurry up. What time is it? 8.05. It's supposed to be ready in the next 10 minutes. Five minutes. Oh, yeah. Classico bean. We've got a grey one. And a blue one. Whoa, these look massive. I don't know if Bro. I don't know if this is going to fit me. Why does it look so massive? It's going to be like bare excess. Anyways, I'm not trying it on now. It's going to ruin my hair. Anyways, I need to unpack my suitcases because it's taking up space and it's really flipping hot in here. It's literally like a sauna. I got my feed, big purr. No, no. Are you taking a mic? Why is there a quarter chicken here? Nah, don't get my nerves. No, where's the receipt thing? Are you kidding me? It literally says five hot wings right here and they gave me a quarter chicken. I am so annoyed. No, I'm actually so annoyed. What the heck am I supposed to do with this? I don't want chicken and that means I have to go get a knife and fork and stuff and who has actually got time to go and get a knife and fork to eat this? I wanted my... Oh, do I go back? Oh, am I going to have to go back? I'm going to have to go back, aren't I? Oh man, I should have checked my order when I was there. I'm going to have to go back because actually I'm not even trying to eat that. Oh, bloody hell, okay. I've got the right food this time. Five hot wings. Not flipping. Caught a chicken. Yeah. Oh my gosh, it's 8 30. I'm gonna sit here and watch my flipping YouTube videos, alright? My Perry barbecue sauce and my Perry salted chips and my spicy rice. If I open this in this flipping mashed potato, I'm gonna beat everyone up. You guys, I'm <laughs> No guys, I'm actually crying of laughter, literally. No. So I'm just sitting here, yeah. <laughs> And I just randomly remembered one scene from Big Brother, like back in the day. Things I didn't even watch it at the time, but I saw it on TikTok the other day. Someone like posted oh, this iconic moment on Big Brother where some woman's told another woman that David is dead. And then that woman thought that it was the David that was in the house, but the woman was actually talking about her ex-husband. It was a whole thing. I'm going to insert the clip of what I'm talking about. And I just randomly remembered it for some reason. And I went to go watch it. And the first time I watched it, I thought it was funny. But I don't know why this, sec this random time now is the time that I realised how actually funny that is and I was watching it again and I was literally crazy and I'm literally crying with laughter. That is so funny. I can't say a word. Nothing. David's dead. No it's not. <laughs> I'm in a slight predicament because now that I've eaten I've got the itis which means that I want to go to sleep now because I've just eaten. But it's nine o'clock now and obviously I've got to go out. And these lot are saying that they're trying to leave at 11, which I don't think I'll even do anyway, because Jess don't even come here till 10. So I don't even think I can leave with them anyway, I'll leave with Jess. But still, like, I feel like I'm supposed to start getting ready now. But I'm on a 30 minute nap though. Alternatively, I could just stay awake and drink energy drink with my alcohol. But apparently you're not supposed to do that. <laughs> apparently, it's actually dangerous to mix vodka with energy drink. Right, I'm basically ready to go. I don't, I'm not really sure about my outfit though, because I'm wearing this top and I'm wearing with these cargo black ones, but I'm starting to feel like the grey cargoes will go better. I'm not sure I've asked Jess if she's not answered the phone yet, so I don't know. Meanwhile, I'm gonna use some of my new Egyptian perfume essence. This is not the right one. Okay, this is the oud. The one I want to wear is the essence one which smells literally like sweets. If you watch my Egypt, my Egypt vlog, you'd know that I was literally like in the shop for ages trying to decide what smell to get. Oof, yum. Let me even take my watch off because another thing, the battery on my watch died. I'm very upset about that because I always wear my watch. The way this guy was selling this essence to me saying, oh, it lasts so long, this better last the whole night, bro. In Egypt, they made me some mocktail, which was like seven up um, lemon juice and strawberry syrup mixed together and I was like this is yum so like, basically I bought the same thing but I'm gonna add alcohol to it obviously but um what do you call it I need to go make that and be drinking that what's Jess saying Jess says the grey okay I'm, I'm changing my cargoes to the grey one okay this is the fit nothing too special just something simple guys there's a lot going on
next day. Oh, so it's the next morning and I have hella, well, actually not too many, I have some, a few errands to run basically. First of all, I need to put petrol in this car. What's this guy trying to do? I don't understand. What is going on here? Why is this person parked on the pavement like this? Oh my gosh, guys, I wish I could show you that. I don't know if you saw it in the, in the window. What the hell was that? Like, what, what is happening? Guys, oh my gosh, I wish you could see what is going on right now. Like, honestly, basically, as I was saying before I got really interrupted by this Birmingham place, I also need to do my nails because like I showed you guys, I literally butchered, like, I broke my nails and also they're like chips in so many places that like, they're just a mess. I haven't been to a car wash in Birmingham yet, but this place is meant to be cheap as well, so I'm gonna just go there and see what it's saying and it's like only a five minute drive away. So, yesterday was interesting. <laughs> I feel like I actually learned something about myself like yesterday. Chloe's told me that they're doing pre's in her flat and I knew that her friends from um, back home, her friends from London were with her. Yes, I'm thinking it's just her and those two girls in it. Like I'm thinking cool. So I go to her flat now. Why am I walking in yeah? and there's a bag of people in there? Like when I tell you this parallel park is absolutely horrendous. I hope he knows that he can't get in like this. Anyways, yeah. Why am I walking into this girl's flat bruv and there's a bag of people like it might as well be a flipping party like i'm literally expecting to see her and two girls bruv like turn two or three at most yeah or maybe like a couple other like do you know what i mean like, i just wasn't expecting that many people so i already know that in a situation like that where there's hella people like i'm not an extroverted person especially when your girl is sober like guys i'm coming here for pre-drink so i didn't pre-drink beforehand i just got ready and i'm walking into the room and there's a bag of people that i don't even know hella unfamiliar faces so i'm just thinking this is not where i want to be and i'm literally bare texting jess that like, oh my gosh there's bare people here right now like it's basically a party i said to chloe you didn't tell me you're having a party here like what the hell like why is there so many people so i'm just thinking oh shoot let me just pour out my drink because then at least i'll be a bit more out of my shell so i've just taken myself to the sofa to just sit down and just drink up by myself and like i'm just being a hella like any social i'm not even trying to be it's just that i cannot be myself in a room full of that many people and the things i knew i know i'm like that but this is the kind of thing where it actually put it to the test and actually threw me in that situation right like you know it's a thing where it's like oh you know people ask you oh what would you do in this situation you can say what you think you would do but you never actually know until you're in that situation and i'm not even trying to draw attention to myself like that's the least that's the least thing i want to do is draw attention to myself because like i said like i'm i'm shy right now i'm feeling antisocial but because i'm the only person in the room sitting by themselves drinking by themselves that's also my like drawing attention to me in it so people are coming up to me like trying to talk to me saying like you okay like you're right what's wrong and i'm just like no i'm fine i'm just just a bit just a bit shy right now do you know what i mean just... is this it i hate when the google maps does this that it takes me and doesn't actually tell me where the place actually is i can't lie yeah no i, I can parallel park like no one could tell me nothing or i just deeps <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking I'm just gonna park my car and get out of the car and just walk and see where I can find it But as deep I need to take my car with me because it's my car. That's the one that's getting washed <laughs> Five-star balloting services. I don't understand I don't understand. I don't understand. It doesn't look like a car like there's no entrance So how can that be it? Why? Why does this always happen to me? Like why is it when I'm just trying to find simple things in this Birmingham place it's just so difficult to find them we have moved to five star balloting services oh okay I think they've moved location why does this woman come here now like which bro like why did you come here like where did you want me to go now like why bro and why is there a truck here now what what the hell how's the truck supposed to get through what I don't understand why you would why I don't understand. Do you know what? Let me just turn around. Because I don't. Oh, this is this is this is the type of stuff that actually gets on my nerves. Because I don't understand why you would force yourself to come here. Like, I actually hate people with all my life. Like, honestly, honestly, testing my patience. Oh my gosh. Guys, no, no, we have to park up here because I'm so, I refuse to believe that this life is real. I don't give a heck yet. Yeah. If you're not a driver, you should still be able to understand what just happened, yeah? Deep this, no, turning off the car. There is a slim road, slim road, as in for one car only at a time so when there's a car let me tell you something about driving yeah when 
the road is that slim. A two, now nah, I'm taking off my jacket because I'm even getting hot and I'm getting bothered. Bro. This, and this is actually common sense, yeah? It's not even just a driving thing. If you can see that only one car can fit at a time, yeah? Obviously that means that someone needs to give way to another, meaning someone needs to like go into a space. Like, you know, like it's a road where there's t cars parked on either side, there'll be gaps between some cars. So one car needs to go into the gap so the other car can go through because you both can't go through at the same time. Now, like you sort of seen, I've, I'm already on the road and I'm trying to look at the um, car wash place on my left, on my right hand side. So I'm stopped in the middle of the road, right? I'm stopped in the middle of the road and there's cars parked on either side of me and I've already gone past the gap where like, if there was a car in front of me, I would have stayed in that gap. Like DPA, yeah, the road was like empty when I first got on the road, like there was no one there. If there was someone there, obviously I would have pulled into a gap and let them go and pass if I knew I'm going to stay in the road, you know what I mean? But there was no one there, so I'm just stationary in the middle of the road. Like a quiet road, by the way, not like the main road. Look into my right. Now I've seen there's a woman now driven in front of me and come head to head with me. And I'm thinking, why would you come head to head with me when you know that we both can't get through? And the gap where I would go in to give her way from is behind me. So now I'm thinking, cool, now you're forcing me to now reverse into a gap to let you come through. Whereas if you had gone in a gap, before you got here kind of thing then you could have let me go through first because i was already here like if that makes sense so instead of her to wait in a gap and then let me go through she has come head to head with me forcing me to reverse backwards to go into a gap that is behind me to let her go through cool so cool i've let her go through with her small small car because that's fine why is there now a big fat truck also trying to get through now like i said there's cars parked on either side and the road is small enough for only one car so now i've gone into my gap but the gap that i've gone into is not enough because like like it's not enough space for the truck to go through because there's a truck now like fair enough the, the car can go through but it's not enough space for the truck to go through so i'm thinking why would you bring your big body self over here and now i'm having i literally now had to Par and also there wasn't enough space for me to properly parallel park like where I was because I'd already reversed like I can't explain it yet I just couldn't properly get into the space to actually let him go past on the road so now I had to do a full u-turn also humping up on the pavement and that do a full u-turn to go back to a place that I wasn't even trying to go just because the truck couldn't wait like why would you why would you come down the road knowing that I'm in the like, I don't understand it and I don't know if this is making any sense to you guys but just know that I'm correct okay you don't need to understand the nooks and crannies just know that I am correct and people are being dumb like don't get on my nerves is it this way okay. guys she's getting scrubbed up dubbed she's getting scrubbed up dubbed okay yeah we have that huh? we have that outside inside only outside it's outside yeah you okay yeah <laughs> do you take cards just cash is there a cash machine they're around here yes should be okay. you live around here yeah when you gonna come back pardon you, can, you, you got the cash in the day, cash machine. Cash machine there? Yeah, but go where they come back, go. Right now? Yeah, right now, if you want to. And if you want, I can pay for you. Huh? If you want, I can pay for you. Pay for me? Yeah. I thought you told me to go to the cash machine. Go get cash. Okay. Maybe you got too much money. Okay. Because sometimes some trucks, you know, trucks with women, trucks with men, trucks with... Oh, no, I'm okay. Are you sure? <laughs> yeah. Just, just Where's the cash? Right there? Just there. Okay. Guys, the cash machine didn't even work. Pardon? Oh, you should put a sign that says cash only so I know before I come inside. Okay, okay, I'll come back. Next time, you know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, how are these not only taking cash, but there's no sign to say that? Like, do they not know we live in 2023? Like, who the hell has cash nowadays? But, um, yeah, they said I can come back and pay them. I'm gonna go to the cash machine now. There's a cash machine next to getting my nails done, so I think I'm just gonna get my nails done first. Right, guys, I just got back, and this is how my nails are looking. They're actually not that bad. Like, I think I mentioned before, I didn't really like the way they do their French tip there, but the, one, the way she done it initially, I said to her, I don't like it, and I told her what to do. Like, I told her to make the smile line deeper, and because the nails are really short, by the way, like I got them proper, proper short, I told her to make the French tip like thinner, because it was really thick at first, it looked a bit like ugly. The next day. God, I'm so confused. I just, I was just asleep, and all of a sudden I'm hearing banging on my door, like people banging on my door. And I was just gonna air it. I'm thinking, who's banging on my door at this time? They're not bang. They're not stopping the banging. I was just gonna air it. They keep on banging. They keep on banging. And I'm hearing people call my name. 
saying Natanya, Natanya. And I hear a female voice, I'm thinking, okay, maybe it's like Jess. So I go to open the door and it's Jessica. And she's like, um, call your mum, she's worried about you. And I was like, what? What do you mean my mum's worried about? Like, guys, I've never been so confused in my life. I go pick up my phone. Why is it 4 p.m.? Why is it, like, I'm thinking it's early in the morning, like 8 a.m., 9 a.m. Why is it 4 o'clock in the afternoon and I look outside and it's, and the sun is, like, there's no sun, it's just dark. Like, it's basically dark. And I go look at my phone. I'm seeing 12 missed calls from my mum and it's 4 p.m. And I was thinking, what is happening? Like, how have I slept until 4 o'clock in the afternoon? Like, that's never happened before. Like, the, that's, like, the latest I've ever woke up in my life is probably, like, 1 p.m. Like, I'm literally not even joking. It's 4 o'clock right now. And look at all the missed calls from my mum. Later that same evening. <laughs> Guys! extreme this day i don't know what's going on this day basically yeah i woke up like five minutes ago whatever i've been chilling in the kitchen with jess and bissela now all of a sudden we're being dragged to go to a party wasn't even planning on going to a party today but here we are and it's quick time getting ready jess gave me this top to borrow so i'm gonna wear this top with these cargo pants and i'm gonna get ready but i need to face my mum because I know she's still worried about me because I had to wake up at 4pm but let me call her back but yeah anyways when I had my first meal of the day it was dark outside deep it but now I'm getting ready it's 9.30 I'm getting ready to go to a party that is most likely going to be dead but I'm being dragged to go there so we'll see <laughs> So guys, we are on our way to the um, motive and it's looking like there's a lot of people and the Uber driver had to stop us off somewhere completely different because the police then lock off the, the road. Um, <laughs> guys, a lot is happening here, bruv. Um, guys, there's police here and they took the women out of the line to go in a separate line because we were getting squashed. Where are you? I'm very cold right now. Wait. We're going to McDonald's to get some breakfast because it's 5 a.m. I'm getting hot chocolate. Just so you're getting actual food? No, I want one hash brown. Hash brown? One hash brown. I only want hot chocolate, I can't lie. Oh, I actually still look like I actually went outside. Well, you didn't go inside. Like, did I, you? Look, I still look like I went out. Yeah, obviously, you're curious. You know, like when they do that and then they put mm. it up and then they like. I'm gonna do that. You cut your hair? You did. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know how long it takes to get ready. Just to think we were supposed to wake up at nine. Hours. That's what I'm saying. You lot aren't waking up. Well, you're gonna wake up though. So yeah. Why can't I wake up? Me on the same bed. I can. Bro, last time, last motive, I went to sleep at four. Yeah. No alarm. I wake up at nine. No alarm. I just wake up like that. <laughs> I just wake up. Yeah, come. It's really hot. Oh, it's really tasty. What did you order? I just got my whole throat. Hot chocolate and a hash brown. <laughs> Why is he like? He thinks he's so cool. Words. I'm so tired. Like he, I'm generally like tired. Do you not think everyone else is tired as well? I'm running up for four hours to be here for hours. Oh my goodness. You want to get me famous again? Guys, I've made a return back to the vlog. He just wants to be famous so bad. Go away. It was never that serious. It was never that serious. Okay. You look. How does he right, You can't zoom in, you guys. Guys, um, don't go clubbing, man. It's not, it's not fun. Subscribe to me. Can I promote my YouTube channel? You have a YouTube channel. Oh, <laughs> I got excited. I got, so, I got so excited. The next day. Honestly, I just need to. I just need to get my life together. Like this whole room is a mess. I should even be showing. This is why I wore yesterday. I just flung it here. My stuff from when I got here, how many days ago, still hasn't even been unpacked. Clothes just everywhere. Like just appliances out. Like just it's just a messy space. This iron is not even mine. It lives in the kitchen. So why is it in my room right now? And I need to. I need to just 
do you know what I mean? Like, so first of all, I need to take my wig off because I wasn't going to because I literally glued it on, like, I glued it on on when... I glued it on on Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So it's only been on my head for four days. So it's been on my head for two weeks. I mean, for a week. But like, it's bothering me that it's too far back. But like, obviously, I wasn't going to just take it off. But then it started lifting yesterday while I was out. And like, what do you mean you're lifting? So I'm going to take it off now and then dry it real quick and then glue it back on today again. And then I'm going to quickly I'm gonna post in a video today, which you would have already seen by now. So if you haven't watched it, go watch it. It's the video of me and my mum. We were talking about our ex-fight travel. I was literally editing that video on the train to Birmingham and I was creasing like I was laughing I was trying so hard not to laugh out loud because I hate laughing in public because people probably look at me like I'm a weirdo but um yeah I was editing that on the train but just now I need to like do a thumbnail schedule it my throat really hurts like the back of my throat and I hope I'm not getting sick because that's not the vibe at all I'm surprised I'm even up this early because I literally went to sleep at 6am <laughs> glued on my wig my wig is actually annoying me like, this hair is so annoying because i love the hair but the lace i hate it one the wig is too big for me so it does that does that thing where it's like bumpy wig cap size is always too big for me like mom always has to cut off bears of the excess lace the hair is glued on i need to quickly go now to sainsbury's to catch argos which is where i got my earrings um because it closes at five o'clock and it's like 4 30 right now so i need to hurry up and go and then i need to carry on sorting out my video i started adding music but i'm not actually finished and i need to do like the thumbnail trailer and all that and then upload it by 6 30 and it's 4 30 right now i literally forgot to even bring the camera with me when i went to the shop but guys why did my earrings come in this like that is so good i thought it was gonna come in a nice little earring box they're cute though they're little cute studs look at that it's so pretty i'm gonna i'm gonna be an earring babe now yeah <laughs> got my chinese for dinner guys i got salt and pepper wings because i keep hearing people say that it's nice but i've never actually tried chinese salt and pepper wings so i'm gonna try it now and hopefully it's nice and i've got chicken balls this time which i don't normally get so you guys so both plead your case yeah. so you'll revote mm. yeah <laughs> what's your card i've seen it i've seen it it's jess alive thank you carry on carry on what's your card well i know is i don't want jess out too why don't you want her to be out because you're working together oh So I'm only one of you on my team right now. So that one. Oh, you're on my team. Oh, you're my team. No, you've been talking too much. Oh my gosh. 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 Like, Is it you? Are like, you on my team? I'm thinking. I think it's a Zara and Kirsten. Yeah, me too. It's not. It's still. It's. It's Dante. Yeah. It's Dante. Wait. So why was that? If if we vote out another civilian, does the Matthews win? Yeah. That's what I'm saying. This is serious. It's Zara. Look at her. Yeah, I know I'm civilian. No, I, I know I'm civilian. So Kirsten, why isn't she on Azara? Wait, because they're know, working together. Okay. I, 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 I believe she's here. I know I'm here. So you are here. We vote now. Oh, it's the time we vote. We vote in red. Days later. Um, so your girl is sick. Yes, precious flu part two. It's like you hear my voice. I am sick, and this is so uncute, bro. Like literally yesterday I didn't vlog, but yesterday's when I started realizing. No, the day before yesterday, on Sunday, I started realizing, hmm, I feel like I'm developing something. I feel like something's going on here in my throat, but I thought is calm now monday now yesterday i realized no like towards the end of the day especially i realized no i'm actually sick and today i woke up and like it's like yeah yeah the sickness is there um and i'm very upset I f i'm upset because i literally only went out twice i don't have uni until 6 p.m in the night time don't ask me why i don't know why that's a thing like why am i going to school at six o'clock in the night i am actually happy with it because that means that today i can be completely bed bound all day until six because i feel like for me when i'm sick the best thing to do is just stay myself 
indoors. The thing is, yeah, I don't even know why people, why us lot get surprised that we get sick when we go out because you sort of see what I wear. I literally have my whole entire chest out to the winds, to the cold, to the breeze, and, and then I worry, wonder why I get sick. I'm just gonna sit here, I'm gonna drink some tea, eat some medicine i've got a lem sip on on standby and this cold needs to leave my system with speed and efficiency bro because i'm not even trying to be sick right now that's so long this is my breakfast okay a cup of tea pan de chocolate don't ask me why it's in tissue okay i can't be able to wash up all right and i'm sick so that's fine random but just put me on these biscuits that like they actually slap so i'm gonna eat this as well right this is my medication box that i'm having to take out of hibernation i bought these yesterday this is actually nice, like it's honey flavour. I don't know if it works though, but it just tastes nice and this is nice as well, so I'm gonna eat those. I'm even out of breath talking guys, that's how sick I am. These, oh, I might have to drink one of these. I remember in Freshers Week, these actually worked. Why do I actually look so rough? I don't even have Vaseline on my lips, it's so embarrassing. It is coming up to five o'clock and I've just been editing all day. I've been quite productive actually, I edited two videos, but right now I'm getting ready to go to uni, which I, I don't wanna go because I've actually been comfortable in my room, in my bed, in the warmth. I don't want to go outside. Hence why I'm wearing a whole flipping tail neck underneath my hoodie to try and protect my throat. So I'm not trying to get more sick. Um, for lunch, we are having a latte with stale donuts. A few moments later. I can't lie, that was literally the biggest waste of my time and I'm so upset. Guys, please tell me why I went to this lecture for 30 minutes and the woman, like, it was literally, I literally didn't learn anything. It was literally just an introduction to the module because obviously it's semester two in it, like we're starting new modules. She literally just introduced the module, just right, reading off the slide. I could have literally stayed inside my comfy bed where I was hibernating and recovering from my illness. But no, she forced me to go outside in the night time for 30 minutes for no reason. The next day. <laughs> Um, today I have been gluing on my wig, but I'm currently laying it right now. Like I put a band on to lay the lace, put a scarf on to lay the actual hair, and then I just put a bonnet on so that I don't look like an auntie. I have nothing to do because I have no lecture. But later on, we're going to the ACS take me out thing. I like I said, I, I am not partial to play him. Don't get it twisted. I'm there to watch as an audience. But yeah, me and a couple of my friends are going there. Um, I don't know what to wear. Well, I'm gonna figure that out later. Later that same evening. It's the next day, yesterday was the ACS thing. But right now I'm literally getting ready to go out and I shouldn't even be going out because I'm actually sick. Like, I don't know why these people convinced me to go out, but that's why I'm heading right now, but I'm gonna end this vlog now because I've been vlogging for seven days. This is the fit though, big purr. Yeah, um, I don't think you can even see it properly, but vibes. It's basically Freshers part two, like I have Freshers flu and then this Freshers motors part two, but it's okay. Um, we're just pre-drinking right now. I don't know if you still can hear people in the background, I don't know if you can, they're in the kitchen. But yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. And yeah, I'm sideways, but we're gonna ignore that. Bye. <laughs>